another beautiful sunrise. And we are, appreciate that, and we are off. from the dry warmth of Moab, it was quite a shock coming to the cool rain in Telluride. After lunch, we came out and found that the clouds had lifted, revealing the snow-dusted mountain. The Telluride Town Park Campground has great sights, beautiful facilities, and is walking distance to everywhere in town. Today's adventure was supposed to be to moto up to Bridal Veil Falls and check out the parking for the Via Ferrata and then come back down, maybe go for a mountain bike ride. As it turns out, we got halfway up to Bridal Veil Falls and we lost brakes. So Dave is on his way. He's hitched a ride up there and he's going to try and fix the brakes because he has no brakes to come down with. So that's today's drama and adventure. <laughs> We are downtown Telluride, and one of the cool things about being here is they have a free gondola ride up to the top of the mountain and back down to the village. So we're going to take a ride and check out the colors and the views. At the top of the mountain, you can stop in for a nice lunch or take your bike and ride downhill. Down on the other side of the mountain is the more modern village. There are many choices here of restaurants and places to eat, but we, of course, prefer the brewery. After walking around in the mountain village, it's another scenic gondola ride down into Telluride. The trees are stunning. Now that the brakes are fixed, let's hop on the moto and take a ride up to the parking lot at the base of the Bridal Veil Falls and get the lay of the land for our Via Ferrata hike tomorrow. It's a beautiful morning and most of the rain has dried up. Today's big plan, we are going to do the Via Ferrata here in Telluride. We're at the bottom of Black Bear Pass Road and we're going to hike up to Bridal Vale Falls and then cut over across the road and hit the Via Ferrata. The hike up to Bridal Vale Falls is really beautiful. Even if you don't plan to do the Via Ferrata, this is a great hike and you shouldn't miss it. <laughs> well, we've made it to the falls and they are beautiful. Another scenic vista. Oh, we got good weather, the few clouds. And here we have Bridal Vale Falls. This is the big fall. And there's a building up on top. I don't know if you can see that. Next, we head over to the Via Ferrata. A nice view of Telluride down below. We've taken a small unintentional detour and get to see some of the mining equipment up here. We got some wildflowers even. Equipment is on and we are ready to go. We're going to be dangling off a cliff together. We might as well exchange names. I am Nevin. Spencer. Spencer. Spencer and Nevin? Yes. Uh -huh. Nevin. Good. 
Some of this is actually just a beautiful hiking trail that's pretty simple but with a big penalty. So just great. Look where they are. Way up there. I don't know where to go. I don't see any cables. I'm guessing up. Oh, there's something up there. So right up here is the trail du jour. And if you slip, I can catch you. This does involve scrambling now, doesn't it? <laughs> And you, Ray, is physically more challenging. Yeah, do you feel physically challenged here? Not tremendously, but it's not a gimme. It's not a hopscotch hike. There's another waterfall here. Had a different time of year again. So far, so good. Nice zigzag road that we were on yesterday that we had the mechanical on. And two fields down, there's Telluride. And now we are to the resting point. We have a little platform here. And when we come around this corner, it's what's called the main event, which is the 600 foot sheer face big drop. That's a tricky one. Yeah, it is. That's why I say if I was any shorter, it would be really hard. Mm -hmm. Why do you like doing this stuff? I don't understand why you like doing this stuff, but. <laughs> Okay, we are back to in. I said you have to do the splits there. Okay. 
Okay, this is really nice. You know, it's a lot slipperier than I thought it was. <laughs> there are convenient handholds placed everywhere. Okay, so they forgot one. Just two more handholds would have been really nice. You can nag me on the way down. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, give me space. I've got to figure out how to do this. Okay. I'm missing at least one handle here. Okay. It's not a big drop here, so you can... You don't have to use a lot of abundance of caution. There's no holds for me. I don't think I can reach. You want me to go first? That was frightening. Yeah, that, that, that uh, definitely got my heart pumping. And then there's that nice drop. Can you imagine if water was coming down this? All right, on we go. Yeah, that it really seems like it's missing something there. Okay. I guess they figure it's not that big a fall right here. <laughs> You need to use your upper body strength for it. I don't really have upper body strength. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, get your beaners in oh, front of you. I don't see much to go. Can you... the foothold. <laughs> Great job, baby. Oh. Wow. I had to get down on my knees and go under that rock. Okay, and here's a nice little three foot gap to jump. <laughs> but if you make it across the gap jump, there is a break. That's a tricky one. Yeah, That's why I say if I was any shorter, this would be really hard. Mm -hmm. So it was very fun. Uh, so we made it. Uh, now it's just the the hike back. So nothing technical now, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fun. was 
big fun. That was really fun most of the time. There was just a couple spots that were really sketch for me. My legs weren't quite long enough or I wasn't quite tall enough. Um, that part where you have to pull you yourself up, I do not have much upper body strength. <laughs> but it's all good and it was fun and I will do this again. This is this is a yeah. five star. And if you have a fear of heights, no problem. You've got this. <laughs> it's good to face your fears. Right. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for coming along with us. See you. See you on the next video.